Hi everyone, I'm John, and welcome to my homemade percussion setup. As you can see, I have moved out of the kitchen. The reason for that is I want to stay out of the way of anyone that might be working in there. And I think that's a good idea for you as well. So I have lots of ideas for homemade percussion instruments. Let's start with one of the simplest. This is a box. A box drum traditionally comes from Peru and is called a cajon. This is just a blender box that I've modified to sound like a real cajon. One of the things I've done is cut a hole in the back. I've also attached a rubber band and some strings to hold a little bit of aluminum foil to change the sound a little bit. A real cajon has snares on the inside of the box running this way. So this is just my idea to help create some of the sound of the original drum. So, children could sit on the box. I might break it if I do that. So I'm sitting on a stool and playing the drum in front of me. But traditionally, on a wooden box, the player sits on it. So you can totally do this and play it. As I said, I have to be careful. Hopefully it won't collapse under my heavy weight here. So some of the playing techniques, you move into different areas of the box. Using the flat part of your hand, that's a bass sound. The lighter sounds are up here with your fingers. Now, as we talk about playing these instruments and having fun with them, Yes, you can just drum away at your heart's content, but it's really fun to create a groove or a beat. And one way you can do that is by keeping time. Just start out with one hand and then add the other. You can move between the two areas of the box, really anywhere, but I'll start here. And you can make a little pattern. faster. So that's kind of fun. That's an exercise you can do to warm up and just play along with a song that you like. With all these instruments, we're going to base it around a drum set. So the idea of a drum beat. So this will be my bass drum. And this will be my snare drum, and this might be my cymbal up here. So I'll start like this. A big part of drumming is accents. And that means just hitting one note a little harder, a little stronger. It also means playing the other notes lighter. That really helps give your groove a great feel. So next we can make it a little bit more complicated, maybe. So I'll just... And we can fill in the other notes with our left hand. It's 
just get that groove going and keep the beat going, whatever the speed is that the song is going that you are playing along with. Now, one thing that drummers do after they play the beat is put in what we call a fill. So it might just be... So you can change the sounds a little bit that way. So this is an instrument you can have a lot of fun with. It's quite simple. It's just a box. So next I'm going to move to my homemade drum set. 